Hey you guys, today is going to be a tutorial on how to cut the crease using black eyeshadow. Um, this look is a very dramatic look, um, definitely towards the evening look, but you can also use all different types of colors or even in a neutral palette if you wanted to do this look during the day as well. But I'm going to show you how to achieve this look um, by using black eyeshadow and a neutral base for the lid and underneath the eyebrow. So if you're interested in this tutorial, definitely stick around. So this is the look that we're going for, very dramatic. Um, so at first you want to is get a eyelid primer. I'll be using my e.l.f. eyelid primer. We'll go ahead and place that all over the lid like so. And then we're going to go ahead and blend that all over the eye, underneath the eyebrow as well, since we will be placing um, eyeshadow in that area. So I love this look, definitely um, for an evening look, very dramatic. So what we'll start to do is you want to get an ankle brush that looks like this. This is Kirkland, and I'm going to use my, my MAC palette here, you guys can see that because of the glare. My MAC palette, we're going to use this black eyeshadow, so any black eyeshadow will do. And what you're going to do, it's going to start going to look a little crazy but you're going to go from the eye the corner of the eyelid and create an angle like so and it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be using um, you'll be blending this look out a lot so it should look something like this then you go back into the black eyeshadow and along your eyebrow or excuse me your eye bone you're going to create that crease that harsh crease line. So we're just going to follow this. We're going to basically outline my eyelid like so. so you guys can kind of see the direction that we're going in with this look. So it should look something like this. Definitely follow the outline. I'm going to go back in. Okay, so now that you have the outline of your eye and it looks like this, you're going to go ahead and go back into the black eyeshadow and you're going to start blending it upward like so. My hair is in the way. So just sort of just blend up. more black eyeshadow on my brush. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So it's a very dramatic look and you'll be blending a lot with this look as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take my blending brush, which looks like this, the fluffy end. I'm just going to go ahead and just sort of blend out that look. A little bit of the black eyeshadow. I'm going to use the smaller end of this blending brush to get right in the corner of my eye. Just sort of blend and then blend out this harsh line here. And you know, it's not going to be perfect. Um, you'll probably end up having to go back a couple of times to perfect the crease after um, everything is in place and everything is blended to really get that definition of the cut the crease look. do it like so. So we have sort of an idea here. Now what you're going to want to use for the lid is more of a neutral eyeshadow, something similar to your skin tone if possible. I will be using my e.l.f. palette, as you can see here. I'm going to pick out this color here. You can see that. Is that the color? This color. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to place that all over the lid, like so, for you guys. And this is really going to give that look definition, if you can kind of see here. Place it all over your lid. And if you happen to go over the black a little bit, then definitely just... Um, 
go back in with the black to apply it back over the crease line like I have. I have went over it as you can see. So go ahead and continue to sort of just pat that neutral color on the lid like so. I'm going to take the black again. My hair is in my way. <laughs> and we're just going to outline the crease like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my flat eyebrow pencil, get more of a neutral matte beige color, place that right underneath my eyebrow. Okay, and sort of blend that. And also blend it with the black eyeshadow. And we're going to go back in. You can see that. Because I want to do a transition color um, on top of the black. And that's going to be more of a shimmery brown color, which I'll show you in this palette. Which is actually the color that was right next to the color that we placed on the lid. So as a transition, I'm just going to take that, place that right above the black, like so. You guys can see how shimmery that is. Right on that side. And I'm going to go back in yet again to really match up this side with this. So. Like I said, you just sort of have to perfect it along the way as you're applying your eyeshadow. We definitely want a dramatic look and sort of just blend that. Like so. You guys can really see that it's coming together. And then again, blending, blending, which is key for this look. So that's the look you guys so we're going to go ahead and finish off this look and we're going to line it with a liner you can use a pencil I'll be using my wet n wild um, liquid eyeliner in black I'm just gonna line my eyes This is a very fun look as well. Okay. I'm going to line the bottom as well. Okay, and then now you're just going to get your um, mascara of choice. I'm going to use my Great Lash by Maybelline. And you can also at this point um, add your false eyelashes if you like. So then we're going to go ahead and finish off this look. I'm going to go ahead and add my foundation. And I'll be using CoverGirl Clean in 265. It looks like this. Just add a little. You 
using my foundation brush to apply it. So again, you could use um, black eyeshadow, you can get creative and use color, or you can even um, just do a neutral palette and use like a very dark, dark brown to really cut the crease, and it'll be a pretty look, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my MAC blush like this. I don't know the number to this, you guys, because as you can see on the back, you can barely tell, but it's a very pretty, um, not too bright of a red, perfect for my skin color. Go ahead, put that on the apples of my cheek, and definitely use um, a blush of your choice. the fishy look okay. I'm going to go ahead and contour as well I'm going to be using my Coastal Sense palette it's a six color contour and blush palette I'll be using the um, brown in this palette to contour And this, the contouring definitely gives um, definition to your face. Go ahead and do the same on the other side as well. Okay. A little highlight underneath the eye. Like so. Go ahead and finish off the look with some lip gloss. If I can find the one that I want to use. Okay. So I'm going to be using Rimmel number 250. You guys can see that called birthday suit. more of a nude lipstick and then I'm going to place over Wet n Wild as you can see that 547B right over it and that's it you guys that completes the look I'll give you guys an up close a very easy look it's definitely all about blending out this look and how defined you really want your crease to look so if you guys have any questions definitely leave them in the comments below um, and if you want to see more makeup tutorials from me definitely also leave that below definitely like this video you guys until the next time bye guys